From the lab to a syringe, the world's most promising coronavirus vaccine needs nonstop refrigeration to work. Pfizer and BioNTech say early data showed its vaccine prevented COVID-19 in more than 90% of trial volunteers. This is really the first that we've heard of some significant successes in a phase three clinical trial. The vaccine trains the immune system to fight coronavirus. It is a new type of vaccine called an RNA vaccine and uses a tiny fragment of the virus's genetic code. This starts making part of the virus inside the body, which the immune system recognizes as foreign and starts to attack. But the technology behind the vaccine needs to be kept at minus 80 degrees from the point of when it's manufactured to the point of use. And because of that, University of Birmingham professor Toby Peters, who specializes in the cold economy, says the ultra-cold temperatures required will pose an added layer of complexity to its storage and distribution. I don't think in the developed world or the developing world, we've really embraced the size of this problem. Cold chain and, and cooling and refrigeration isn't simply around the, the, the ability to provide the, the temperature. It's actually that it's very energy intensive. Logistics experts say part of Africa and Southeast Asia, Central Asia and Latin America lack the infrastructure for temperature controlled storage for an immunization campaign to bring COVID-19 under control. Peter says all countries, including Canada, need to plan ahead to prep their cold chain infrastructure. We know we can make fridges that sustain minus 80 degrees. We just have to make sure it's not a second thought if a vaccine gets approved. Emanuela Campanella, Global News.